Good morning again. Chuck here at Garden Spot Acres. Welcome to day two of Tiny House Build. We left off the other day getting our corner blocks in place. We squared it up, measured diagonals. We had the diagonals equal. Now what I just need to do is one final leveling. And I have some of these, they're composite shims. And I'm just gonna place them underneath each corner to level this up. And I wanna make sure at least every corner gets two of these to lift the wood up so it's not wicking moisture from the bottom. Okay, we got this one level. Now we'll go over to this other side over here. And that one's level already. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and place my shim, a pair of shims under each corner now just to lift this up a little bit. Before we go any farther with raising the walls of the tiny house, I have to build a door buck. In other words, a door opening. And what I've got here, I have a vintage door. This came out of an Amish house in New Wilmington, Pennsylvania. It was a one pane glass door, big pane here. I pried open the joints, glued them, clamped it. So this door is all nice and tight again, but there is some rot down here on the bottom. And I'm gonna go ahead and take off, probably right here at this panel here on the bottom, cut that off, and I'll cut off an inch or so on the top. I want the door shorter, so proportionally it fits in the house better. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing cut down the way I want it, and then I'm gonna build a door buck or a door frame that we can place right on the first layer of timbers that I have over at the house and we can put the logs right up to that. It's wet right there, but it's not rotten. Let's see how square this isn't anymore. <laughs> uh, let's see how square it is. I got 80 and 1 8. Oh, 80 and 3 16. Oh, she's off a little bit, but it's going to be good enough. That just gives me the size I need to build my door buck. I'll make the door buck three quarter inch larger than my door. So I'm gonna come out. 
it'll be three eighths inch bigger on this side and three eighths inch bigger on this side and i'll probably make the top half inch or maybe even three quarters of an inch taller that way i can split the difference get a um a door seal on the bottom here now we do have a hole here and i'm not going to be using this type of la this type of doorknob because i want this thing to be rustic and vintage looking so i'm going to be taking this piece of scrap that we cut off the bottom and i'll get a hole saw the size size is that right there which is one and yeah, about one and seven eighths i guess and we'll cut this we'll cut a plug out of this and put it into here then i'll do the same thing for the uh this part here but now i gotta build a door buck so i'll take my two straightest two by fours i have over here and i'll use those for the uprights This is going to be my a stringer to attach my floorboards when I'm finished. This is going to have floor joists running this way. One big one will come right across the middle on the blocks. Then I'll have some 2x6s flush with this on hangers right along the, this side here and on the other side over here. Well that's what that's for and this will be attached with structural screws later. I'm gonna go ahead and get the other one on and we're gonna call that a night. Thanks for coming along on the video. Hit that notification bell if you wanna see part three where I start putting the walls up. Today, we got the door buck finished. We cut the door down to see what size we wanted and we put our first two floor stringers in. One here and one over there under the door. Thanks for coming along. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate your time. Share this with your friends and family. Anybody else you think might be interested, I would appreciate it. 
hit that like button and don't forget that notification bell don't want to miss the next video see you on the next one bye bye